sure most of you have heard by now that the Dragon Valley Easter Egg Riddle has been solved. There's already a couple of videos out there covering all you need to know in order to unlock the camera reward if you would like it, which I'm sure after watching this video you're more than likely will. So for those who don't know, here's a white Dice LA camo you'll be awarded with. I really do appreciate Triple J's effort to come up with this rather complex Easter egg and give us a Dice LA camo. Though, I do think the black version would have been a much better reward. But let's get to the point. Basically, there's something to do with the camo I think people should be aware of, as in my opinion, this particular feature should not be in the base game. Well, at least not in this way. I'm pretty sure it's a bug from CT that's made its way over to the retail client of BF4. Most players that have spent time on CT most likely already know about this, but for those who don't, did you know the Dice LA camo that you get as reward from the Dragon Valley Easter Egg makes you invisible to thermal optics? Yep, that's right. Just to give you a few examples here in the IFV, as you can see there's a player in front of me with a Dice LA camo on, and switching between thermal vision, you'll see, just like magic, he becomes invisible to the thermal vision. And you'll notice his weapon is still somewhat visible. I want to thank the Red Gamer Dan for showing off this effect, seeing as he unlocked the camo pretty early. So here in a tank, as you can see, once again, switching in and out of thermal vision, the player becomes invisible. The only real way you can see him is by the Dorito. What about the IRNV and flare scopes for infantry? Does it also affect those as well? The answer is yes, this camo will make you mostly invisible to the flare scope, and remember, this is only at 21 meters. It only gets worse the greater distance between you and a target. The IRNV wasn't as bad as you can see here. You can still kind of make out the shape of the opposing player, but compared to when he's not wearing the camo to when it's on, it's still a pretty big difference. So basically, we need to ask a few questions here. First of all, was the thermal invisibility meant to be an intended effect to go into the retail client of BF4? If not, then I really do hope this gets fixed ASAP. But if it was intended, this brings up a few follow-up questions that I want to ask you guys, because more than likely, different people are going to have different opinions about this. Should such a powerful item in the game be a reward from a Easter egg hunt? Should it even be in the game this late? My answer to both is no, it shouldn't, and yes, I am aware that to unlock the item you do need to solve the Morse code riddle and do various other long steps in order to unlock the camo, and I know some people will say with all that effort you should be awarded with something special. I will agree with putting a lot of effort into something you should be equally awarded, but not in this manner. Such a powerful item should actually be a reward from some kind of special or late assignment in game that you need to slowly progress during your playtime as you gain ranks and you need to complete various tasks based on team and objective play to unlock the camo. I'm not saying easter egg hunting is a bad thing, I think it's great to see the community band together to solve it, but rewards from easter eggs should be strictly cosmetic. Or if they're going to be beyond that, it shouldn't be anything too crazy. A good example, the Phantom Bow. This Dragon Valley camo reward is far beyond cosmetic, and regardless of it being white, the fact that it makes you invisible to thermal vision, like I said, it's a very powerful item to have in your arsenal, and makes other camos in the game almost useless. And in order to unlock it, you need to complete a damn easter egg? That to me seems extremely weird. So my proposal is remove the invisible effect against the thermal sights, because give it a good week or so, this is going to cause a lot of negative drama within the community. I mean, it already has pretty much started on the official battle log forums. And if Triple JU feels like being extra nice, seeing as it's Christmas time, switch out the white camo for the black one, as you can see here on CTA. Just ignore the Santa head. Maybe even give us the option to use a black camo on our weapons as well. That would be freaking amazing, and we've all been asking for that for such a long time. And of course, the black dice camo should not affect thermal scopes. In my opinion, just the sole fact that the camo is black and that you can use it as a soldier and weapon camo is more than enough incentive for most players to complete this easter egg Triple JU has put together for us, without the invisible effect to thermal sights. But like I said, this is just my opinion, I'm not trying to speak for the community in any way, I just want people to be aware of this and you should expect to see this item being used in the battlefield. Especially if you're a person that enjoys using thermal sights on vehicles or infantry. Luckily though, to unlock the camo, it is quite difficult to some degree and more than likely will take a long time before we start to see a lot of players using it. 
There are counters to the camo also, the weapon of the player still lights up as you saw before, and of course the Dorito on his head is a dead giveaway, so make sure to spam that spot button even more so than we normally do. But anyway, make sure to leave your thoughts down below, I'd like to see what other people have to say about this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.